A film made by two former Mississauga High School students is making its debut today at Slam Dance, one of the biggest film festivals showcasing new independent filmmakers. A Therapy Dogs, written by Ethan Ng and Justin Maurice, and directed by Ng, was shot during their final year at Cothra Park Secondary School in 2019. The then 17-year-old setting out to create an honest portrait of high school and teenage suburban life as they were living it. I met up with them to learn more. Ethan, Justin, congratulations on Therapy Dogs and Slam Dance. I think that's uh, that's incredible. Tell me about what Therapy Dogs is about. Therapy Dogs was a movie that uh, me and my friend Justin made in high school. Uh, it was something for us to kind of like figure out where our lives were going at the time. We used filmmaking to kind of like stitch together these questions of our lives and we wanted to capture the teenage experience. Warts and all. We're gonna rip off the flesh of this school and see what really makes it tick. It's the movie you all deserve. Casting themselves as the main characters, the two set out to document their entire senior year under the guise of making a yearbook video. Do you mind if we do some uh, interviews for the end of the year? No, 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 where are you guys going? It all started with like a small Kodak yeah. that we would just walk around with. Everybody knew me as the weird camera kid. How much footage did you have? Lots, hours and hours, like prom alone. Because you didn't stop filming. Yeah. <laughs> Anything can fly off the walls when you're in high school, and I had to be ready for it. And they captured it all, the joys. Oh, Shania, won't you go with me to prom? Along with the angst, insecurity, and search for self that comes with being 17. So what's your goal going to be after high school? That's a very good question. You know, it wouldn't be a proper teenage movie without some immature decisions. The film blurring the lines between reality and fiction, transitioning seamlessly between scripted scenes and real life. Sometimes I go on Google Maps and just wander. I think a lot about the places I've never been. When we were making this, um, there was nothing really for us to hide behind. Like, you could say we were in character, but at the same time, we really were in high school dealing with these things. So yeah, it's, it's really hard to answer like what's real and what's fake, but we want the audience to have fun with that. Why did you call it therapy dogs? Through high school, like your friends are kind of like this, you have this unspoken bond and you're changing and you don't know what, what's going on and you know, they're there. They're your therapy dogs? Yeah. Yeah. Ethan submitted Therapy Dogs to the Slam Dance Film Festival a while back and had actually given up on hearing back when he got a call in November. The film chosen as one of 10 narrative features to premiere at Slam Dance out of more than 1,100 feature submissions from around the world. Being able to call Justin and tell him that... I was like, ecstatic, yeah. He called you right away, yeah. right? Yeah, and then I much. ran upstairs and I told my parents and I was like, yes, we did it! You know, for a long time I feel like I let Justin down because nothing happened with this movie. Um, and being able to tell him was like, it made my dreams come true. All of the students are super excited to watch this. I've even gotten like messages from Cawthra alumni years and years ago that are also excited. What do you hope people who watch the movie um, take away from it? And how do you hope it makes them feel? I kind of want people to like look at the characters and uh, the struggles people go through in the movie and kind of try to see themselves in someone. As soon as you graduate, you forget what it felt like. And I knew I'd forget right away. So I hope people watch this movie and, you know, they can kind of connect back with their 17 year old selves. And, you know, maybe this movie can give that 17 year old a little bit of a hug.